the only thing I want to add is that I want to invite everybody on Sunday, on Saturday, on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, more especially on Sunday, that is when we're having a climax at the Moro Stadium, where we'll be doing some religious activities, cleansing the stadium, cleansing the the, the Moro area, the elders, the Kalenjins will be coming, they will be bringing all their weapons, the Kikuyu also will be bringing their weapons that they used to do violence with, and then they will come and repent, and we will be one, and start now a journey to reviving our country. You know, the reason Uhuru and the Ruto came together is not because we loved each other. Nobody created a platform of really speaking to the people on the ground that they come together. Because if Uhuru Ruto was meant to build a good relationship, there are people still who are IDPs until today. If Ruto and Uhuru were really genuine, we couldn't be having IDPs. But we, I don't rule out Maybe it's out of ignorance or out of intention or intentionally, but what I want to say here is that we need to address the real issue. And the real issue, going back to them, talking to them, and also see how best can be able to live as brothers and sisters of this nation. So it is not a one-day event. We have set a team that is will be moving from house to house, enhancing that peace, building the peace, and then come out come up together as an outfit that belongs to Nakuru County. When we go to Mombasa, we do the same. When we go to Garissa, we do the same. We go to Moranga, we do the same. And build a nation that is one cohesive nation, a united nation. And then also, uh, taking back church to the people. Because church has been uh, blackmailed, and also we have had rogue pastors. We also had rogue prophets, and many people were wrong in the society. Also, the politicians have disconnected with the society. It's a society that is full of disconnect. All that we are praying is that we have togetherness, we bring a society that is one, a society that loves their country, that works with their country, that believes in their country, that can fight for their country, not for their tribe. Yes, the reason Molo, first reason is I come from Molo. I can't go to start a journey from Murana where I don't belong. I have to start from home. I have to tell my people, I have to show the world I started from home. This is my home. And uh, first of all, you must make your people, your people where you come from, believe in you so that you can start a journey together. Number one. Number two, Moro is historically is a, 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 a black spot. Um, we call it those uh, constituencies, the larger Moro. That's where Kamara, Orenguruoni, Kirisoi, Njoro, this is the larger Moro constituency, and uh, the larger Nakuru also district, and uh, it has been a point where demonic activities have happened. Uh, in Moro stadium, where the stadium is, that is where they, they had a jail, where Kikuyus were killed by the white men. The Kikuyus ran away from uh, central Kenya, that is where they were killed. So that is, and uh, go to near Kibunja, there is old houses near Kibunja, as you enter tomorrow, that is where we had one detaining camp. That that old house was a detaining camp. As you go to Orenguroni, at a place called Moto, the other old houses there, and the Mona Farm, that's where we had another holding ground. And as we come into where we have Kirenget water in near Turi, there was another place where they had a holding ground. So, and another from Rondiani, near a place called My Mau Summit. Mau Summit is a Muzungu that we call cement. That was its name. So those are the people who are positioned to make sure they brutally kill the African people. So after many, many years, there are th four, th four things that have happened. As you come from El Babon to Molo, after Turi, there is a place they call Munju. Munju, 28 people died in one morning. It became, it's a grave, there is a, there is a, uh, a monument they put there. Um, as you approach Salga, some 200 people were burned to death. There is a session one, and uh, still the grave is there. As you come from Orenguroni near a place called Mona or Kiambu, another 22 people died one morning. And uh, just the other day, 50 people died from the other side of Londiani. All those are the four gates of entering tomorrow. And all these, it has been like a sacrifice. Because you, I, I know most of you must have gone to Londiani, the accident of Londiani. 
uh, oil mafuta ilikuwa imemwagika uh, grease ilikuwa imemwagika but there was no blood did you ask yourself where did, where did the blood go and 54 people are dead the people are dead there but no blood what could have happened so that is why we are going tomorrow uh, to cleanse that area could, could be it's because of bloodshed that was shed long time ago could it be because of, it's because of our evil activities that could be and and also you see mungiki also started from Molo. and uh, mungiki was involved with a lot of atrocities and um, could it be there is something haunting us that we need to really look at could it be it's a foundation that is killing people thank you